What's up guys, DVApps here. Today I'll be showing you how to reduce Chrome's RAM usage and make Chrome faster load and also your PC as well. So I made a video around three years ago that shows you how to reduce Chrome's RAM usage, but most of the settings that are used in that video are now outdated and no longer work. So I'll be showing you some new ways on how to reduce your RAM usage. Now the first thing we're gonna do is make sure that Chrome is up to date. So we're gonna go into the three dots here and then down to settings and then click on about Chrome on the left hand side here. And it will just check for updates. If there is an update, it will tell you that it needs to restart Chrome. Just let it do that. Now, once that's done, we're going to click on extensions. And here you're going to look at any extensions that you no longer going to use. So for example, these Chrome apps come pre-installed like docs, sheets, and slides. They can take up storage and also RAM on your computer. So if you're not using this often, it's a good idea to uninstall them or disable them. Now, the next thing we're going to do is enable some of Chrome's experimental features. To do this, we're going to type in Chrome colon slash slash and then we're going to change this to flags now the first one we're going to enable is the quick protocol so it'll probably be the first one if it's not you can just search it here and change it to enabled now what this does is it routes all your traffic through google servers which compresses it and sends you a smaller page so it's faster for you to download and requires less ram now the next thing we're going to do is turn on gp rasterization so just search for that and change it from default or disabled to enabled. And then Chrome might ask you to relaunch. So just click on relaunch and it will restart Chrome. Now, once you've done that, go back into settings in the three dots icon and then go down into advanced and system. Now we're going to make sure that use hardware acceleration when available is enabled. So this will use your GPU rather than using your CPU to load pages when that is available. You should get a smoother experience when this is enabled. Now another thing you can do is install this extension called The Great Suspender. So I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. Just click on it and add to Chrome. Once you've done that, it will open this settings page. Now you can choose how long after do you want the tab to be suspended. So by default, it's at one hour. If you have a lot of tabs open, you might want to reduce this. And also if your computer doesn't have that much RAM, you might also want to reduce this. For now, I'll just leave it at one hour. So after one hour, the tab will be suspended. So it's not using as much RAM. And you can also go through and change some of these settings to suit your needs. And now if none of these have made a difference, you can go down into settings, advance and reset and clean up. And you can restore Chrome to its original settings. So delete all of your data that you currently have for Chrome, but it also ensures that Chrome is running as it would if it was just installed. If you have any questions, just comment them down below. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.